pain for me is a funny thing. Um, I, I guess I have a reasonable pain threshold. Not that I want to put it on a scale or anything, but I would go as far as to say that I like pain because I know it's trying to tell me something. Um, not that I want to be in pain, but I take it as, you know, if something hurts, there's a reason for it. And obviously in labor, it hurts. You can't get away from that. It is going to hurt, but it's sort of directional. Like when you're having a contraction, you can sort of feel everything going downwards and, you know, gravity doing its thing. And so actually it was sort of encouraging to me um, as my labors progressed for that and other reasons I didn't want pain relief. So one aspect of that is that if I can't feel what I know I should be able to feel, that would freak me out. <laughs> um, I wanted to be able to feel what was going on, especially if like something went wrong, then I could actually say to, you know, to the midwife, like, something's not right, that, you know, this is where it's not working. Just being able to, to have that ability is it was important to me so um so I, that's one reason i didn't want pain relief the other reason is because i kind of have a a thing about putting foreign objects or chemicals or whatever into my body um i do take antihistamines that's probably about the only drug i will take regularly and willingly um because without them I'm just, I'm very itchy, very sensitive to everything. But as to, in terms of reacting to pain, I actually quite like it as a, as a thing that shows me what's going on and helps me feel a lot more in control of what's going on, especially, you know, for labor. If you've not done it before, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what's going to happen or, you know, what's right, wrong or indifferent. So I, I kind of like having those signals to tell me whether things are going correctly or not. Um, I will say though, with my second baby, um, he, his, my waters broke with him and then he just sat there. D didn't do anything for 24 hours. So of course I had to go into the hospital and they put me on all these monitors and things, stuck all the tags to me and things. And I was sat there for a while, um, you know, waiting for things to happen. And one of the midwives came over to check me, do my observations and stuff. She looked at this monitor and she went, you're contracting well. I said, am I? <laughs> Haven't a clue. Um, they did have to induce me with that one. Um, and they tried like lots of different ways and nothing happened. So I think um, the, you know, the amniotic sac, the water was kind of um, cushioning things. So I didn't, I wasn't feeling... Um, stuff that I would normally have felt because my my interoception is quite strong usually um, so that was yeah that was kind of funny um, I had absolutely no idea I was contracting that well she obviously seemed to think I should have been in a lot of pain um, so yeah that that is that is the flip side of that um, but generally how I react to pain is that it's telling me something and it's a mechanism. Our body has lots of mechanisms for lots of reasons. So I do tend to try and go with the flow, but go, but go with what my body needs to do.